this is a tale of confusion. Um, I don't know when this happened. I guess a month and a half ago. You could probably look up the dates or something, but it's not really that important. It's kind of a it's kind of a funny little story. Okay, so I, I log on to give me a break, man, and it says I have an account warning, and I'm hmm, well. That's strange. So it says I have an account warning, and apparently um, one of my comments it says very clearly. All this information is very clear. It says one of my comments has been erased because it was deemed inappropriate and uh, full of hate speech. Okay, it was hate, hate speech apparently. So I'm like, what? So I mean, because you know, if you if you've been on YouTube, you realize that there's a lot of uh, really mean things all over the site. Um, so I call, I email them, and I say, well, what 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 is a comment? And they say, oh, we can't tell you that. You know, <laughs> I'm like, huh? And I'm like, you know, here's here's the thing about when you're dealing with YouTube uh, staff, is I've learned from from past experience not to get emotional when you're complaining or dealing with them just to get to the facts you know if you want to um, enjoy the interaction don't take it too seriously don't get angry just um, try to try to get the information that you need right so I tried to make a logical case I said well if you don't if you can't tell me um, what I did wrong then I don't know you know uh, how I, I can not repeat it I mean they, I mean, they just say, well, we can't tell you. It's just, it just seemed rid ridiculous. But like I've told, I told uh, uh, Find Me and Kudume because we've talked about uh, how it seems like YouTube, uh, he, he, he was getting frustrated when he first became a partner at, at the interactions with YouTube. But like I told him, do not take it too, um, too personally. Don't take it personally. I guess you can take it seriously. But I will, I will tell you that I do find it a big you know monumental waste of time communicating with them sometimes because just it it really looks like you're just getting a form letter back or a robotic response that has nothing to do with your with your inquiry the other day i sent them um permission for a song that i'd gotten like it was a song that i actually had been using for three years or so maybe four years and they suddenly decided it was, i didn't have rights to it and they asked me to prove it and the guy that, that wrote the song for me, Burn Victim 77, he, I didn't even know he was, he's not even active anymore, really. So I, um, I contacted him and actually he wrote me back and gave me, you know, a, he wrote a letter to YouTube giving me permission and all that, surprisingly. And, um, I, and I thanked him. So even though YouTube had cleared it, I'd already proved it, you know, I already, I sent the, uh, YouTube a link. I said, look, this song's been, I've been using this song since forever and here's a link to an old version of it I mean uh, uh, one of the first times I used it and they okayed it um, but then just to make sure that this didn't become an issue in the future I sent them another email with the permission you know after after burn victim 77 uh, sent me permission I said I forward that on to you too I said you know just in case this becomes an issue in the full in the future I just thought I'll just send this to you and I think I, th I think for that one I got a form letter saying this has been sent on uh, to our engineers, or we're dealing with this problem. Anyway, it, it was obviously, it had nothing to do with the, uh, <laughs> the actual permission. It, they sent me some response that was just, like, automated. So, okay, let's get back to this, um, this funny, uh, inappropriate comment. So, I got this email, you know, saying that my comment was inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. And they wouldn't tell me what it was, and I wrote them back a couple times, and then finally I said... Oh, yeah, they sent me links. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. They sent me an FAQ link, and it's like, it's got 30, I can't actually count it. It has some, some like 37 links to possible problems, and none of them had anything to do with this. But um, I said, you know, it would help. I wrote back, you know, I said, I, I don't know which one to click because they have nothing to do with my problem. So then she sent, it's a, it's a woman I'm dealing with, I guess. Uh, I get an email saying, sending me a specific um, link to a to a to a happy cabbie video about how to contest a video removal, right? And I wrote back and I and it says you know it shows it shows somewhere that you can actually click on appeal or contest or something. I think it's appeal. And there's nothing for me to appeal on this removal of a comment and this strike. Remember, I've gotten a strike. I don't know if I said it in the beginning of this video. I got a strike for this. So this is frustrating. Um, hmm. So, so I wrote her. I said, you know, that's all fine and dandy, except I didn't have a video removed. I had a comment removed. 
and I got a strike for the comment, and there's no way to appeal this comment, this strike, as indicated in the video. So I don't know why you know, you're sending this to me. Um, and 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 I said I said maybe you're maybe you're confused about you know this this strike against me. Uh, you know this has maybe this was a mistake you know and because I there's no video being and, and then and then I said um, oh and and uh, and I did a search for the word um, I think I even wrote nigger speak and fag on YouTube and it's written all over the place and I said. I, you know, I understand you can't tell me what I said, but I really find it hard to believe that I wrote anything that's worse than any of those comments. You know, I mean, I didn't, I, how could I have written anything that was worse than that, than nigger, spick, or fag, you know, of which I'm all three, apparently, or, and a Jew, uh, <laughs> according to my haters. So, so, they wrote back saying, your strike has been removed, and that was it. <laughs> but... Just when I thought that story was over, and I had actually meant to make a video on that weeks ago. Today, I logged on, and I was going through my Give Me a Break Man videos. I have like four, over 400, and I thought, I'm going to erase some of the old ones because they're kind of outdated. And I was looking through them, and I noticed this. That one of my videos, Japan Had It Coming, has been rejected as content inappropriate. And there's no way to appeal that, apparently. Um... Yeah, so, and then you click on that, and it, it takes you to a link that says, if you're seeing the rejected content and appropriate message next to one of your uploaded videos, it means the video in question has been found to violate our terms of use. Please review them to be sure you understand what content is accepted and for upload. And I and I actually have a copy of the video on my um, computer. And I went, well, I went back and looked at it, and I'm basically, um, I, I really, I can't see what I'm doing that's content inappropriate. I mean, I am criticizing Ishihara, but hundreds of people have criticized Ishihara. Um, in fact, there's a wiki page, wiki page um, pointing out all his uh, past mistakes. I can't understand what's in, what is content inappropriate. Um, are we are we now not allowed to criticize political figures anymore? I mean, he's the governor of Tokyo. Did he personally complain about my video? And even if he did, that's somehow content inappropriate. I didn't. I didn't say anything uh, regarding race or age or or anything. I just said that he's, uh, you know, I pointed out some of the some of the things he's been criticized for doing and and how he's uh, equivalent to Japan's. Uh, he's kind of a, a Glenn Beck or a Pat Robertson, Pat Robertson of Japan. And not and if you and, and I was just t t telling people I thought it was a culturally interesting. It's a very calm video. I'm not like yelling or anything. And I'm actually linking at the end to some Google donation sites. So I don't know, you know, what YouTube is thinking. And more than anything, it's just a waste of time for me to you. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a waste of time for me to contact YouTube to ask them what, you know, why. Because in the end, there's no way they can justify removing that video on for that reason. I'm sure nobody watched the video. They probably only looked at the title and they didn't watch the video. I mean, because it's a it's a it's a pretty good video. I mean, yeah, and it's got twenty three thousand views, and they're all the ratings are very good, and, and nobody's uh, you know um, giving me shit for it. I don't you know I don't get it. So so I can write YouTube, and I can expect no real response. And, um, but um, that's the way it works, you know. I, mean, I know they're really busy, and I I know that they deal with a lot of idiots. So I can't I kind of can't blame them, you know, in one sense, but at the same time. Uh, it's you know I could be doing other things instead of dealing with things like that. Am I am I never supposed to say anything negative about anybody? My Sarah Palin's video is still up, you know. <laughs> that was much worse than this one. <laughs> okay, so that's my little rant. Um, but but like like I, like as you can see, I'm I'm um I'm not angry or, or you know anything. I'm 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 kind of like huh. Well, this is YouTube being YouTube again, which is what I recommend if you're a partner. Or when you're dealing with YouTube staff or YouTube, not even, I won't even say staff because I, I'm not, I don't think that's even appropriate. When you're corresponding with YouTube, just take into account that don't, don't, don't expect much so you won't be disappointed because the, the, the possibilities of actually getting, um, getting a logical, your idea of logic, a uh, logical response, um, 
or email answer are slim. slim. I won't say none, not slim to none, but low to slim. <laughs> not slim to none, but low to slim. Yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's it's a shame because um, because then I gotta waste time writing an email just you know, just just because that's what you're supposed to do, right? I mean, you gotta you can't really give up. You gotta keep writing emails and but like I said um, like I said earlier in the video, I think when you're when you're corresponding to YouTube, just don't get emotional. Don't don't write angry stuff. Just write the facts, send it to them, and hope you know, and cross your fingers and. Once in a while you get lucky, like I had that comment strike removed after, f like, it, I think it took me like five exchanges. Um, but at the same time, like every time I was doing it, I was kind of laughing, <laughs> like, let's see what this, you know, <laughs> let's see if this works. Um, and eventually it worked, but anywho. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Good luck.